Good evening, folks. Welcome to Alien Addict. How are we on this fine, luxurious, sunny evening? So, I'm kind of at a stage in my life now with this channel where I'm just gonna fucking be myself and deliver this pile of shit that I'm about to deliver to you. So I'm gonna give you all some advice right now. It's probably, it could do some fucking serious damage to my channel, but I've got nothing to lose because I work for a living. So, you know, this is just a hobby to me. I kind of like doing it. Whether I had 10 subscribers or 10,000 subscribers, I'd probably still do it. And if I can do it more, I will. Let me tell you something right now. You know when you comment on a YouTuber's video and you kind of put something down really intelligent and you kind of expect the decency to, for them to comment back, yeah? And they don't. D generally speaking, that's either because they are too busy to, to respond to every single comment or they just don't give a fuck. Now, there is a lot of channels out there that just generally do not give a fuck. And you will try and get to know them. Maybe you're starting a YouTube channel yourself. And it might not even be on Aliens. It might be on a gaming channel or whatever. And you think, you know what, I'm going to ask for this guy some advice or blah, blah, blah. Get a bit friendly. And they just kind of blank you. Well, that's, that, that's the state of the internet, I'm afraid. So, if you're expecting... To make friends with youtubers they generally don't care about you when they say you know what guys i fucking love you what they're saying to you is yeah i love you because you're making me shit loads of money now what's that got to do with ufos you may ask so a genuine ufo channel yeah that has the time and i find the time even though i work over 40 hours a week from my day job yeah will respond to you when it comes to ufology because they are in generally interested in what you have to say. So if you look on any of my videos and you go down the comments, you will see probably nearly every single person, whether they're calling me a dick or a wanker or whatever, I do respond to them. And it's kind of like, I, I, I feel like if someone comes over and asks me something on my channel, then I'm gonna give them the time of the day because they've, they've taken the time to watch my video. Now, when it comes to ufology and you and you will see a UFO channel say, guys, comment in below because I'm interested in what you're gonna say and I want to, you know, research this further. And I've seen so many really intelligent comments on small channels, big channels, and look down at the replies, zero, replies zero you get that nice little love heart that doesn't mean fuck all but zero replies on stuff that is genuinely really fucking interesting and it just baffles me now sometimes guys and i will say this to you when you send me a link to something on my youtube channel it goes into my spam so it might take me a, a week or so to actually to find that because it's gone into my YouTube spam because you've sent a link best way to do that is to contact me on Twitter uh, I'll fucking give you the Twitter thing here right now um, but yeah uh, alien addict on Twitter and you can message me direct um, what I will say is that ufology is just becoming very messy I literally trust a handful of people right now in the UFO community because it is such a big money maker you have no idea I mean this has been making money for years and years and years well before I was born you know it films television books it's it's all makes money now i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that and you know what if i can make money off this channel one day then i fucking will however i will remember the community and i'll remember why i'm here and i ain't gonna put you sh just shit out for the sake of it which 
I could probably put a video out every couple of days and, you know, just with my fucking charm and charisma, just get loads of subscribers and fucking dollars and fucking money and whores and penguins running around my living room. Just pay for it. I've always wanted penguins in my living room. But I don't, you know, I, I generally, I can't get whores either because I've got a wife and if I bring a whore home, she's going to be like... Why, why have you brought a prostitute to the house? You know, we've got two kids and, you know, we're married. But yeah, enough of that. Um, UFOs, in general, yeah? They're a fucking mind boggle. Pardon my French, but I, I'm, I'm in that mood. I'm, I'm kind of in that frame of mind right now. I mean, going back to the last video I did when I was talking about the... Uh, the Bob Lazar documentary, the Jeremy Cor sorry Jeremy Corbell's documentary on Bob Lazar, uh, very well done, interesting. Didn't see much new information. That's not finished with. I guarantee you, that is not finished with. We'll get another one of those because it's it's done really really well, yeah, and well done, Jeremy. But when we get another one of them, please give us a little bit more, a little bit more info. You know, I've heard there's probably going to be a film, by the way. Back in 2009, Matt Damon was on about playing Bob Lazar. Now, that would be fucking awesome. You know, that would <clears throat> suit you. Yes, I'd love that. But again, it's spinning it out. It's all about, it is all about the money. You know, if I fucking try to back engineer a flying saucer, would I want Matt Damon to play me? He'd have to have a, a damn good broad Yorkshire English accent to play me. So, good luck to you, lad. Anyway, yeah. So, we're talking about the Bob Lazar documentary, okay? I've got a sneaky little feeling here. Now it's only, it's, a, it's, it's on no, no source has given me this. None at all. But I've got a, a like a, a little twitch here that says, says, that's the Yorkshire thing, says, that Jeremy Corbell might be doing some work with To The Stars Academy. Now, because that's gone very quiet, I've noticed that the, they've said that they don't want any more investors. I don't know why. Um, but I've just got a, like a, like a, a nasal itch that says that Jeremy might have met up with Tom DeLong for a pint of vodka and just, you know, talked about doing like a, a documentary because they were talking. They, was, they were in real big talks was um, to the stars of doing some sort of uh, like entertainment. And they, that kind of would kind of fucking, you know, scissor together it it's just a thought but it, I think it's genius Jeremy Tom if if this is not true go for that pint of vodka you know get some alien vodka thank you Tony W good lad um, oh thank you Stu for this little beauty here yes top man top man um yeah, that would be a fucking match made in heaven, that wouldn't it? Uh, to the stars and uh, Corbell working on the uh, the told thing that they've got in the uh, the the safe, the, you know, the the alien artifacts or the little bits of rock, whatever they are. If we ever see them, come on, DeLong, show me, show me what you got. That's that's my. Uh, 
Batman impression. If you've made it this far into the video, then I thank you guys, yeah. Awesome. You probably already subscribed though, if you've made it this far, uh, because anybody else that's just stumbled upon this video would think, who the hell's this guy just mumbling on about stuff? Is he actually a UFO channel? You know, I I'm gonna say something to you here right now, and I keep saying to you guys, I'm gonna upload more, I'm gonna upload more, and it's fucking impossible having a small person living with you and another small person and a wife that beats the living fuck out of you if you don't do as you're told. Now, I could put a video out every few days on all these UFO sightings that are out there. That fucking drone one where something flies towards it, I don't think it's a UFO, unfortunately. Um, I tend to agree with uh, UFO proof on that one even though I do think he talks a load of shit from time to time. Um, but I agree with him on that. Stop. Stop. Don't unsubscribe. Kyle, I've changed my mind. You are wrong. You are talking shit. That is no G Falcon. A Jeer Falcon. Um, it's got G Force, but it isn't, it's no G Falcon. A Jeer Falcon. I've been watching videos on this magnificent bird and to get that sort of speed and it can't get that sort of speed by the way no absolutely not I'm going to show you a little video um, that I found on the internet um, on a little platform called YouTube that we all know and love by Rob Woodus and I hope he doesn't mind me using the clip he's done a fantastic job of breaking this down so I'm going to play this for you. Um, but yeah, that's no G Falcon. A Jeer Falcon. Make sure you check out this guy in the description, Rob Woodus. Uh, Rob, I have to say, you are a very sexy man. This is good work. Love what he's done here. Um, the, uh, the colors, everything. You see this thing, look at this, Google Earth, yeah? He's taken the time to put it into Google Earth and he's matched the surrounding areas with that. Now, yeah, it's, it's, it's probably easy. I, I, don't, I don't think it is though, to be fair. I suppose you just need to know a bit about geography and I'm shite. But this guy seems to have captured this object from quite a good distance that I've not seen others. There you go. Now watch this. See that? It dips in. Now that could be that could be light, a trick of the light, but to me that it looks like it is that far away. Yeah, fantastic job. I don't think it's a G Falcon. Jeer Falcon. We're not always right, and that's fine. And you know, I'm I may be wrong about this, but to me, if you look at this little video on uh, BBC Unplugged, um, you will see this G Falcon chasing this Austin Martin. And if you just look how much it has to flap its wings to catch this car up, now. <sighs> For me, that I don't think that's going anywhere near as fast as that UFO was, and that's flapping like mad to get its um, bird leg or whatever it's eating, and it was going fifty-eight miles an hour. So, two hundred. I don't know. I'm more in. I'm more inclined to say an insect than a bird and the fact that we're seeing it swoop round it looks like it's come down the mountain it's, it, it's probably just an illusion but again I'm going back and the more people I talk about this my subscribers um, other guys on YouTube channels um, Twitter people believe this is a UFO and it's interesting to see that somebody that's had so many UFO sightings you know some magnificent ones um, you just 
It's a bird. It's a bird. All right. And for all the people who are going to come and talk shit and say that I'm wrong and it's this, I'm sorry. Listen, I know for a fact UFOs exist. Unfortunately, this is a Jeer Falcon swooping down past a drone. It is not a UFO. It, just, it doesn't matter if we debunk it. It's okay. It doesn't mean UFOs are not real or something. It just means that's what this video is. I have put forth enough evidence to prove my case over the case of it being an extraterrestrial vehicle as opposed to a Jeer Falcon. The evidence that I have put forth supports my theory. I am correct no matter what you guys want to say that is the fucking answer i absolutely nailed it whether you like it or not it's a fucking falcon swooping down on this drone that's what it is i'm sorry ufo proof out there is a lot of youtubers out there with a story that they they're going to tell you you know that they, they've seen ufos they've had really up close and fucking personal experiences with ufos and I'm not saying that there aren't people, and there aren't YouTubers, I'm not saying there aren't YouTubers out there that have not had that experience. But what I see, and it's more than one channel, it's quite a few channels, is channels selling you a story. And they keep giving you bits of this story along the line. And what they are after, eventually, is that break where somebody notices their story and they might want to make a documentary about that story and it might go on somewhere like who knows netflix like the fucking stan romanak one yep i mean he yeah he's dyslexic and if you're dyslexic you look it up most and i said this to lion's ground i gave him the proof of this um I'm dyslexic, and dyslexic people generally are quite talented when it comes to art. And that alien that he did that was peeping around the thing, I think he made that, you know. I have made stuff myself, you know, there you go. It's just a, a little motherfucker out of clay, it's not finished. It's kind of just got its uh, structure there. But what I'm saying is, People will do anything, anything to get that kind of fame. Some people really will, and they, they want to be noticed. And some people are really good actors as well. So that they can they can pull it off. Not only can they pull off the, the, the I call it a prank, um, but they can pull off the illusion of themselves being real. Do you know what I mean? You've got to look really, really closely at these channels, at these people. And you've just got to see the little mistakes they do. You've got to kind of look at the eyes as well. And you've got to realize that if a story is kind of, just keeps developing and keeps developing and keeps developing and they keep adding to it, they are just enticing you. They're, they're, they're kind of, you know, it's like when you read a story to a kid. That story's got to get good. Or they're just going to get bored and just want another story. Or they will just want to get out of bed and play with the toys. So, when they are selling you a story, that story's going to get more and more interesting. And that's where it becomes dangerous. That's where it comes on the fucking borderline. Oh shit. Where... I'm losing traction with this. I can't just keep saying the same thing. I've got to make something else up to make it sound more fucking enticing to get these guys more excited. And that is what happens. And that's when they start fucking up. And I'm watching. I am watching. And that's... I find this extremely... And, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. I, I, I'm glad for this shit going on right now. I do think it's fucking... A bit fucking selfish. Of the people that are doing it. And I... And the people are generally, uh, genuinely watching and thinking that these people are speaking complete and utter truth. I'm kind of going on a little bit of a tangent here, but it needs to be said. Guys, be careful who you're watching, who you're listening to, and who you're spending your money on. Because 
the people out there are willing to lie to put food in their bellies. I've been in sales a hell of a long time. Hell of a long time. And I, I know how to sell. And I always sell with integrity. But I see a lot of people that don't. Just be careful, that's all I'll say. Anyway, good night. God bless. Mind the bugs don't bite. I'm Alien Addict. Like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more of my rumblings. Dear Falcon.